Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to continue using all those skills we've been learning in Adobe Illustrator and make these little star brand logo designs. Let's go for it. All right, let's go to this one here. Now I got a triangle and I got two little things there. I still do want it in the proportion of a star. So let's go ahead and pull out the star again. And I'm going to go ahead and make a star. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to hold down option or alt. Get it kind of in place. Okay, I'm going to kind of get it approximately the right size. It doesn't really matter. You can always size things up. But just for comparison's sake. All right, roughly. Of course, it was a sketch, so it wasn't perfect. So I'm just going to put it over here next to it. And let's see what I got to do. So I have to add these negative space kind of lines there. Shouldn't be too bad. And I got to get rid of this space right here. Shouldn't be too bad either. This should be an easy one. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the space. Easily done with the pen tool. Hovering over this point right here. And just clicking. It gets rid of it. There we go. That part is done. Okay, now I need these little negative space um, lines right there. These cutouts. So, um, easy way to do it, I think, is going to be to create a rectangle, create a line, a white line, and let's put it into place here. So I'm going to get it, I'm going to move it, I'm going to rotate it, I'm going to attempt to line it up perfectly. This might be trickier than I imagined, just the lining up portion of this. Nope. Kind of wants to snap down. That is almost perfect. My, my uh, arrows, the increments are too, too big. Okay, it is almost there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go ahead and make it longer. See if I can rotate a little bit more. If, I'm going to see if making it longer makes it any easier. It's pretty close. So um, I could fiddle with this endlessly and worry about this little, like, teeny tiny little thing hanging over. Or I can just do this make it long enough that it covers up the whole side. And the way I know it's a straight line, I know that's a straight line, and that should be good. Now, I can easily duplicate this shape, object, transform, reflect, because I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to reflect it vertically. So I'm going to hit copy. Now I have another one that I can put into place. I'm going to zoom in a little so I can make sure I get this right as close to right on the line as possible. All right, and there we go. Now, are they thick enough? Well, uh, I think my drawing, I think that the triangle ended up being a little bit thicker there than an actual star. So I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'd rather have, for, for this, I think I'd rather have a precise star, which I have with my star shape, okay. So there we go. Now this one, once again, um, I would always leave my um, original like this, but I would also duplicate it to turn in. So here, I'm going to just put the original over there. And this one, I'm going to select it. How did you show up again? Go away. And I'm going to uh, subtract minus the front. And there we go. Now it cut out those shapes, and I've got a precise little logo and obviously it turned it into a group as well here's a group and the layers they're all together and yeah very cool okay let's look for some other ones that will take some other skills we haven't learned yet this looks relatively easy you're just joining those shapes together this one looks easy you're just putting two shapes on top of each other mm. well we can do it anyways I think this one's going to be the uh, the 
trickier one to uh, to draw. Let's try that one after. Let's okay. Let's just do this one here. Super easy. Well, we had a really hard one up there, so let's just do a super easy one. So I'm going to go to my polygon tool, hold down Shift, and I've got my black polygon. That's a little big. Hold down Shift when I uh, transformed it. Always hold down Shift. Okay, and I just have it down here so I can see. Now, um, I, this star kind of looks kind of chunky. Doesn't look like my other stars. So I think I'm going to leave it like this, kind of a chunkier style star. And I'm going to select it. I'm going to create a white fill. And now I need to size it correctly. So I do want it to go over the edge, but not as much as it is right now. So hold down Shift when transforming it. A little bigger, I think. I want to make sure it clearly looks like it's going over the edge of the corners. zoom in here and see how much turn this off here for a second it's looking pretty good actually I think I'm just looking at how much over it's going it looks pretty even I think that's good okay and obviously let's go ahead and select it duplicate it and um, this will be my original that I'll put away Go away. And this will be my one that I can subtract the front. And there we are. All right, that was. Keep hitting that button. There we go. And that was a pretty quick one. So let's turn this back on. Go there. All right. Let's keep cranking away at a few of these. Okay, this one is very similar to that one and that one and let me think the best way to do this so subtract okay let's go for it let's go for this one here maybe it maybe it's a little got a couple things that are new so I'll make a star shift to make it straight option to bring those points or the uh, corners in and let's just put it next to it here. Make it a little bigger. Okay, so first thing, let's see, we got a cut out pentagon shape, much like the uh, top one. You know what? I should just, I wonder if I should just duplicate. No, I think, yeah, I should just duplicate the top one. Come on now, we'll do it again. I want to look at it, take shortcuts, but let's pretend we have no shortcuts to take. Polygon tool. All right, here we go. Shift, let go, white. All right, now I got to rotate this thing. Shift again to rotate in 90 degree increments or 45 degree increments. Now I got to get mm, isolation mode. Get it into place. And here's the thing, I've got another pentagon inside. Let's do that one first, because that one looks like it touches the corners from my drawing precisely. So I'm gonna, I got my white pentagon here, okay? But I'm gonna duplicate it. No, it's hard to see, I got two pentagons. I'll put them in there, ah, hard to see, they're white. Okay, here's one, let's make this one black. And actually, no, I'm gonna make it a funky color. So I want to be able to see it and see when it's hitting the uh, corners precisely. So I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to zoom in, hold down shift, I'm just trying to get this in place. A little big, just a little. Now it's a little small. 
Minor adjustments. It's getting pretty close. It's a smidge bigger, I believe. That's pretty darn close. Okay, let me get them both and align them. Okay, yeah, looks dead on pretty much. All right. I like it. All right, so that one is going to be... I'll keep it red for now so we can see what's happening. This one should be behind it. Perfect. It is. And... Yeah. I'm just trying to see that this looks almost the right size. Let me turn this off again. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my layers. Got a lot of shapes going on here. Probably would have been a good idea to put them all in different layers and separate them. But yeah, I think I like the size that it is right now. And I am pretty sure it snapped right into place. Yeah, I had it correct the first time with the other Pentagon. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I've got... Uh, so I can subtract these, this one from that one and I'll have this star here. But I'm still going to need to join these together, which... Um, shouldn't be a problem. I'm trying to think of an easy way to do it. And I think just tracing it with a pen tool will be the easiest way to do it. So um, here we go. Let's go ahead and select this pentagon and the star, not the red one, not my front one. And I'm going to, okay, do I want to do this now? No, I want to leave this the way it is. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's go ahead and trace the uh, this shape on top that I need. So I'm going to trace it in... I want no fill and no stroke. I think I just want to use a path. Okay, let me go on top. All right, so here's my point. Click. It's another point. Click. Click. It's kind of lining up the points for me. All right, cool. There it is. It's selected already. If uh, you can't find it, it should be the very top thing you made and it's just a path because I took off no fill I want to be able to see everything clearly and now I'm gonna fill it in black and there we go okay so that's yeah that's that's it so let me go down and shut this off perfect now it's just a matter of um, cutting out and minusing the front on certain things so I'm gonna duplicate it once again because that's what I do hold down option or alt drag you away keep you off the page Let's go ahead and make this one a version that can be used. So once again, I'm going to select that pentagon and select that star by holding shift. I'm going to subtract, go to the pathfinder, minus the front. There we go. And I'm going to turn this path off. This is the one that I just created. Okay, I don't need this red one anymore. This red one, delete. And this little star here at point, I don't need either. This is just extra because I already drew the one on top. So I'm going to go ahead and select it with a white arrow and hit delete. And you can see it just put it away from the group. Then I can turn this one back on that I made. The new one. And there we go. Now they are separated because uh, it's not. it wasn't part of the group that got subtracted. So if I select this with a black arrow, it doesn't select this section of it. But look over here at my uh, layers. And I can just open up the group, and here's those shapes, and I can just drag that in there. So now it's part of the group. So now when I select it, it gets them all. Okay, so you have control over the groups, really. All right, and uh, that doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead and uh, stop this video and uh, do some more stars on another one, and I'll see you guys next time.